Hello folks, hope you're doing well. Yeah. What's on my mind at the moment is the point that, uh, yeah, we spend far too much time trying to fix things that in the past that we can't fix if it's done then we can't make it undone it doesn't matter what it is if it's done we can't make it undone what also crossed my mind is that some people, when they get to meet God, they're going to be horrified. Horrified at the fact that they've been saying for years that God wanted them to stay with a person who was aggressive, with a person who was spiteful and nasty, a person was who was unloving. Uncaring, who didn't share in their interests, and God's just going to look at them and say, "That wasn't me. I showed you signs and signs and signs and red flags. I showed you quite clearly. I didn't put you with that person. You did that. You chose that person." And you chose to stay with that person because the church was saying to you, you can't divorce. Yeah. I mean, the way the church acts, that if a man or woman stays in a bad marriage, they will be a hero when they go to heaven because they didn't divorce. Okay, show me a scripture where it says going through things you don't necessarily have to go through makes you a hero. There's no scripture that says that. Well, if the church was advising, or still advising, or was, probably was, is the most important thing, <laughs> was, not now, was advising um, Amber Heard and Johnny Hep, yeah, him, what would they say to them? Yeah, you can't divorce. Really? If they were still together, one of them would be dead now. Right? That's quite likely. That one of them would be dead now if they stayed together. I've been in a relationship with a very, very similar situation. With a woman who had a similar sort of way about her. Yeah. And I left because I knew, I knew. We had a son together, James. And I became a Christian right at the end of that relationship. And yeah, God made it pretty clear to me that um, I should leave this woman because it was a very nasty, unpleasant relationship. And it was. I've said before how the devil told me that if I ever want to see my son in the future, I need to climb out my window. Not go through the front door, but climb out the window because someone could hear the front door closing, right? Yeah. So if I go out the window, no one would hear that. So, okay, yep. And then go back, go to her house to her back garden make a little bit of noise so she comes out 
and kill her. And then go back down to your place again through the window and yeah that's the only way I could see my son in the future the devil told me that I knew it was a devil yeah and but actually that was right because I haven't seen my son pretty much since no no that was it I had to make a decision that I'm getting away. I'm not going to risk, because there was already evidence of that, that 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 could happen. Yeah, she was quite violent, and I was someone who, because I was in a relationship like that, occasionally I snapped, and yeah, ended up doing things that I wouldn't normally do. At one point, I had my hands on her neck when I snapped. Mm, so, yeah, I knew all too well that what the devil was telling me is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I knew why it was such a temptation. There are relationships like that, and there are relationships that are not quite as bad as that. Um, and people in church stay in those sort of relationships. Yeah. But the first thing is, why do you care what other people care, care about? Yeah. If someone has looked at you and saying, oh, you're bad because you did that, excuse me. Yeah, the Bible says, take the plank out of your eye first. Why did the Lord say that? Because that's the point. If people are pointing to you saying you're bad because of what you're doing, the Lord said, tell them, take the plank out of your eye first before pointing to me but the problem is yeah people care too much about looking like a good Christian yeah not me and I hope for your sake that you don't because it's not a good situation to get in you will continue in very, very bad situations. And not because God wants you to. Yeah. It's perfectly okay being in situations because God wants you in that. Because that's going to benefit you. But when you're doing it because of a church or because of other people, whoever else is judging you, you want them to judge you well, then, oh my God, that really is not worth it. So there you go. I wish you well. And I hope you're well on your journey in those areas. You take care. God bless. Be a blessing. Be blessed. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.